I'm sure you would agree that change is hard. You don't like change, your employees don't like change, and neither do your customers. What if I told you that change doesn't have to be this way? And in this video, you're going to learn two ways that you can help people not only change, but like doing as well. So let's get going. Hi, my name is Josh Patrick, and I'm the founder here at The Sustainable Business. And sometimes I refer to myself as the change master. So we're going to start today with what I call behavioral economics. And I don't call it, it's what it's called. You know, we are hardwired not to like change. And it goes back to eons ago that we're hardwired not to like change. You know, and people like to think, well, gee, we're rational and it's rational for us to do some change. Well, the truth is, it's not. You know, we're not rational beings, and that's the reason that change is hard. Now, we know that change has to happen. In fact, change happens around us all the time. We just don't want that change to involve us. So here's something I want you to do when it comes to change, because too many people, too many times people put too much effort into a gigantic change project, and because there's so much in there, and maybe the project's not right, you're not going to stop. So here's your new mantra I want you to use. I want you to use the mantra, fail fast, fail cheap. Now, the truth is, or at least I think this is the truth, small experiments are where it's at. You know, when you're doing a small experiment, if it doesn't work, it's really not hard to stop. But if you take several small experiments and you combine them together, it becomes a big experiment. And when you do a big experiment, that becomes really difficult to stop. So when you're doing your small ex experiments, if it works, you keep doing it. If it doesn't work, it's easy to stop. So this keeps you away from the behavioral economics principle of what's called sunk costs. And sunk costs is, is just something that the more effort you put in, the harder it is for you to stop. So here's a magic question for you, and I like to use this whenever I'm talking about change. What would happen if, if you ask that question about what's going on in your life, and you just say, what would happen if I stopped doing this? What would happen if I made this small change? What would happen if this small changes and I keep doing it? You know, when you do what would happen if, what happens is you're creating a positive expectation and you're focusing on what works. Now, here's the challenge with this, is that we tend to focus on the negative. We don't tend to focus on the positive. And too often we focus on what doesn't work, and that's where change gets hard. But if we focus on what's working already, and we make small improvements in what's working, it's likely that change is going to be more well-received than if we focus on not working and try to do a complete pivot. So when we focus on what works, life is much easier. So that's the message I want you to take away with. Focus on what's working in your business. Focus on what's been working in your life. Focus on what's working in your relationships. Work on that. Make it better. You're going to find the light change a whole lot better. I promise you that. Hey, this is Josh Patrick. I'm the founder here at um, the Sustainable Business. Why don't you scroll down, leave a comment, and if you want, I have a program called the Financial Freedom Project, which is about making small changes to help you become financially free from your business. Hey, thanks a lot for stopping by. I hope to see you back here really soon.